here's how to hack your Thanksgiving because let's face it, you're probably not gonna do everything perfectly. It's a holiday. And there's one of two things that's gonna happen on Thanksgiving. One is you're in charge of the food and then you're gonna make some stuff that's mostly bulletproof but you're probably gonna cheat and I'll tell you how to cheat safely. Or you're gonna go somewhere else and I'll tell you what to do. Just two wildly divergent strategies. So let's talk about what's gonna happen if you're gonna to go to someone else's house, someone who maybe doesn't really kind of eat bulletproof. What do you do? Well, the first thing you do is you wanna to offer to bring a dish or two that you know is gonna really make you feel good. And there, the thing that I really, really like, and I'll put the recipe up for you, is pumpkin pie. And it takes a while to bake pumpkin pie, but there's a shortcut, a big shortcut, using collagen gelatin. So instead of baking it, you literally have to have either canned pumpkin or ideally pumpkin that you've steamed yourself. It doesn't really matter though, you could use butternut. You blend it with collagen gelatin. You can add eggs or you can have no eggs if you're sensitive to eggs. Either way, it works really, really well. You can make it with or without a crust. And when you do this, you can get it with no sugar if you use xylitol. But here's where the first problem happens. Xylitol is birch sap or birch sugar. The problem is that xylitol, to the uninitiated, can cause gas and even a little disaster pants. So what do you do? You could use some xylitol, but huge warning if you use xylitol. Xylitol kills dogs. It tastes so much like sugar that to a dog, the dog believes it's sugar, secretes insulin, and then it causes hypoglycemia. So be very careful with leftovers. Dogs shouldn't be eating cooked people food anyway, but beware of that if you have dogs or if you are going to a friend's house and you're gonna bring a pie that's not good for their dog, make sure everyone knows. You can make the pie, you bring it, it'll have like 80 grams of collagen plus any other protein you add. It'll have brain octane oil and it can be low sugar. You can use maple syrup if you want to because let's face it, you're gonna go out of ketosis and that's fine. If you're in parts of the Bulletproof diet where you're supposed to be in fat burning mode, you can keep your ketones high enough just by sprinkling brain octane in everything you do so that you'll still have some ketones even if you're not fully in ketosis and your brain will work. You won't get that just lethargic drugged feeling that you're used to having from Thanksgiving. The next thing to do is choose your carbs wisely. Sweet potatoes and yams are a very common thing. Go for those and you can make them with or without sugar on top because if you're gonna have a little sugar, this is a good day to do it. I don't recommend it regularly, but if you're going to have sugar or excessive carbs, use a ton of cinnamon, which funny enough, goes on top of sweet potatoes and yams. Cinnamon can actually help you maintain stable blood glucose. So don't go shy on the cinnamon, put it on everything. You can even add some to your Bulletproof coffee if you wanna get some extra things that way. You can also get capsules of cinnamon extract that can help with that. Chromium can help as well. So take some supplements that keep your blood sugar stable. What I do is I sprinkle a little brain octane on everything. And anytime I get a chance to replace excessive sugar with fat, grass-fed butter, guacamole, brain octane, ghee, Things like that, bacon grease, that really just makes the richness happen so you just don't wanna keep eating and eating. You feel really good. And you can use xylitol when you need a hint of sweet. But remember, don't put xylitol, lots of xylitol in food that others are going to eat if they're not used to it. You can actually go beyond cinnamon though if you're gonna serve bulletproof coffee which, well, I do recommend because it's creamy and delicious and that's what Thanksgiving's all about. You can make the pumpkin spice variety and you can actually put pumpkin in it. And there's a recipe on the Bulletproof website for that. Now, those are some things you could bring or some things you could prepare for yourself, but you're gonna go to a friend's house. They're not gonna tell you they put MSG or they put who knows what in the dressing or in the stuffing. So what do you do? Well, there's two things that save me when I do that. One of them is Bulletproof activated charcoal or upgraded coconut charcoal, it's called. When you take this stuff, it can bind to toxins in food and it basically means your liver has to do less work. It's the same type of thing they do in the hospital when you're poisoned. So you're gonna, if you're gonna eat foods that really aren't that good for you, you might as well help to bind them in the gut. And if you're taking prescription medication, don't take that stuff anywhere near them. Before and after Thanksgiving dinner, hit yourself up with some glutathione force. Just have one or two doses before, one or two doses after. The reason for this is that this is the master antioxidant throughout your body, but it works specifically in your liver in order to help your liver more rapidly detox things because you're probably gonna drink something too, right? It is Thanksgiving. Well, you definitely wanna help your liver process alcohol so you get less of the acetylaldehyde, which causes a lot of the havoc that alcohol plays on your aging process. I do not believe that moderate drinking is a healthy thing to do. So if you're going to do it, acknowledge that you're taking a biological hit, but you like it and that's okay. So then do what you can to minimize the hit. Don't drink on an empty stomach. 
and make sure you sprinkle a little bit of brain octane throughout that meal because that's going to help your body metabolize the alcohol better. One of the things that you're probably going to do on Thanksgiving, you're gonna overeat. You can help yourself not overeat by putting enough fat in the food because your satiety hormone, which is called ghrelin, is changed. When you have enough ketones in the blood, which you can get from having enough brain octane, helps to raise your ketones, they only need to be to 0.5. This is less than the amount if you're in like the paleo mode, hardcore, all fat, or the ketosis part of the bulletproof diet. You just need to get a little bit. That's going to change your, your likelihood of overeating. But let's say you do it anyway because you had to eat your grandma's apple pie and it was really good and you had three slices. The next morning, don't have breakfast. You could do a plain intermittent fast, which I usually don't recommend, but you're already pretty full. Or you could do a bulletproof intermittent fast without protein where you're having just bulletproof coffee, just fat and coffee and go light on the fat, just more brain octane, light on the butter, and let your body finish processing all that excessive protein, all those carbs. You're probably not gonna feel hungry till two or three in the afternoon. So just taking it easy that next morning and not feeling like you have to have the big bacon and eggs and leftover turkey kind of thing, it's gonna make a huge difference. And if you did have the non-pastured turkey with lots of antibiotic residues and things like that, those leftovers are probably gonna also make you not feel so good. So you might not wanna go heavy on the leftovers unless you had a really good quality Thanksgiving dinner, in which case those leftovers are precious fuel and you should enjoy them with gusto. But just give yourself a break before you do it. So head on over to the Bulletproof website and look for the pumpkin pie recipe with collagen gelatin, and that's the most amazing thing, it only takes about maybe a half hour to make it. You put it in the fridge, it's ready in about an hour. You can make it with a crust, you can make it with no crust, and this is something I give my kids for breakfast anyway sometimes because it's got nothing bad in it and it tastes just like creamy baked pumpkin pie but without all the work. Hopefully all of these hints help you have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Your goal is to feel good during Thanksgiving, to not have the post-turkey coma to get a good night's sleep and wake up the next morning feeling normal instead of basically waking up the next day at noon feeling like you've been hit by a truck, which is how I always spent the day after Thanksgiving as a kid. That way you can wake up early and go shopping if that's what you're into and probably beat the crowds because you have more energy than anyone else.